Well, let's have a look at the different means of drug absorption across the biological membrane or the plasma membrane. The cell membranes are composed primarily of a bilayer, and you all know that, which determines the membrane permeability characteristics. Drugs may cross cell membrane by different ways. For example, passive transport, which includes diffusion and facilitated diffusion, active transport, and pinocytosis. Now from this slide, we will have a quick look at the different ways of drug transport across the membrane. The first one, as you know, is a passive transport, which occurs predominantly in the body, and it includes both diffusion and facilitated diffusion. Now on this side of the cell mem, there is high concentration of the solute or the drug molecules. On this side, there is low concentration of the drug. This is your lipid bilayer, and the drug molecules are happily transported from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration along the concentration gradient. Let's have a look at the facilitated diffusion where the drug molecules are transported from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. This is the higher concentration. This is the lower concentration of the drug. But here there is a specialized carrier protein in the cell membrane which is doing all this job. So facilitated diffusion is exactly the diffusion, but the only additional thing is the presence of a carrier protein which delivers the drug across the membrane from a higher concentration to a lower concentration. Let's talk about the active transport. Now in case of active transport, like facilitated diffusion, there is a carrier protein. But additionally, there is one ATP molecule or energy which is driving the process even more efficiently. Now this ATP or energy is basically required to drive the drug molecules from a region of low concentration to the region of higher concentration. Unlike facilitated diffusion, which is a process from higher to lower concentration in the presence of a carrier. So in facilitated diffusion, there is a carrier. In active transport, there is a carrier. This is the one similarity. The dissimilarity is that in active transport, there is movement from lower to higher concentration, whereas in facilitated diffusion, there is movement from higher to lower concentration. And of course, there is one more dissimilarity, as I already mentioned. There is ATP in active transport, there is no ATP in facilitated diffusion because that is not required. The ATP is only required to drive from lower to higher concentration, means to drive the car uphill. When you are down the hill from higher to lower concentration, no ATP is required. I'm sorry, on this side of the frame the same process is taking place. From lower to higher concentration, driven by ATP, in the presence of a carrier protein in the cell membrane. Let's see what happens in pinocytosis. Now the pinocytosis is also called drinking of cell. Now here the drug molecules will come across the cell membrane. It's coming close to the cell membrane, touches the cell membrane. The cell membrane invaginates. Wait for it. It invaginates and folds inside and make pseudopods or the pinocytic vesicles. These are the pinocytic vesicles which then release the drug into the cell. So this is the topic for today. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.